I'm now gonna show you how to glue your wallet into the frame. You will need your frame, wallet of course, glue. I like this stuff, it's called Amazing Goop Craft Edition. It's similar to E6000. Uh, unless your glue has a very fine point that can go in the channel, you will need a toothpick and a knife. First, I'm going to put the glue in the frame. Of course, sometimes I need to open it with a wrench, but this time the hem of my shirt worked. Okay. And I'm just gonna start rubbing it along both sides of the channel in a thin layer. I'm gonna keep it on the table. I try to lift it up closer to the camera, but too hard to, for me to do in the middle of the air. Okay. And make sure you pay special attention to these corners. I'm using my toothpick to rub it on both sides of the channel. You want it to be fully covered, but uh, you don't want to have it so thick that when you stick the frame in, the glue will ooze out. So I'm trying to keep this a thin layer. And if a little bit gets on the outside of the frame, that's okay. You'll take care of it in a minute. Once it dries just a little bit, it'll be easier to pull off. So once again, I'm paying special attention to these corners. I also like to pay special attention to these end parts because that is often where they where the purse or wallet tries to pull out. So I make sure that there's plenty of glue right here. In fact, I'm going to put a little bit more back at this beginning part. Okay, so you can stop there and only do one side of the purse at a time, especially if this is your first time uh, gluing a purse into a frame. But I find it a little bit easier just to do both sides at once. Actually, it's nice to do one side at a time, but then you have to put glue on the other side of the frame without getting it on the side that you've already glued in, and I just don't like doing that.
that is the last part. I have just a little bit left on my toothpick that I'm going to rub on here. Okay, so now I'm going to just leave it here for a few minutes, uh, maybe two or three, and then I will go ahead and glue it in the frame. pretty good. I'm going to find places around the frame where there's a little bit of glue and just pull it off. It's a lot easier to pull off now when it's just a little tacky than when you first put it on. Of course, I'm leaving tons of fingerprints on this, but we'll be able to pull, um, polish those off later. All right, that looks pretty good. So this is fairly straightforward with the size four and a half frame. With the eight frame, eight inch frame, you might find it slipping out more, but it's um, this purse does not go out very far. It's not perfect right angles, but it just has just a little bit of um, oh man, can't remember the word. Oh, well, it only goes out a little bit. Spring? No, not quite. So I'm going to slide in one side and move the corners up into place. And I'm going to take my, actually I'm going to go ahead and slide both sides in before I start working with my knife. You can do one side at a time or both, but I felt like this side was getting in the way, so. All right, got my knife, and I'm just going to push it all the way in, all the way around. Corners, top, sides. This one's staying in pretty well. The vinyl one that I did kept trying to slide out. But this one's doing pretty well. Ah, this side's now sliding out. Gotta be a little careful. And don't fold the purse at all, or the wallet at all, at this point. You don't want to fold it until uh, until it's all dried. All right, and I've got a little bit of wet glue right here, so I'm just rubbing that back and forth until a little piece comes up that I can pull off. All right. So now that it's mostly in, I'm not going to open the frame very large either because I think that'll. Over here, you see it started to pull, or you might be able to see, it started trying to pull itself back out. So I'm just going to push this up. If you're having a lot of problems with it pulling out, you can use binder clips to keep it in place. Usually I don't need them, but this is kind of a slippery fabric. I'm going to grab something to help keep this in place. Well, thankfully my husband has a couple of binder clips because I'm going to use them on this side that keeps trying to come out. All right. This side's looking better than the other side, but just in case, I'm gonna stick a binder clip on this too.
Okay, now that those binder clips are on, I'm gonna make sure that these sides are not pulling out. I think this side is pulling out a bit, so I'm gonna push that in. All the other sides look good. A double check it is actually not usually this hard for me to get it in but something about this slippery nylon fabric is struggling I'm supposed to be showing you how easy this is and of course I'm struggling all right so I'm just gonna leave this be now and this is all I'm gonna do And I'm going to leave it for at least 12 hours before I try to close it or fold it. Uh, I usually give it a full 24 hours to dry, but 12 hours should be enough to work with it. So I'm going to leave my frame B, and tomorrow I will be able to close it. I hope that helped. Thank you for sewing this with me. And if you make this pattern, I'd love to see your finished result in my Facebook group, Teresa PDF Sewing Patterns. Uh, thank you.